You know, marriage is a, a sacred moment. The sanctity of marriage is, is incredible. It's the oldest institution that God has made under the sun, is marriage. And God said, it's not good for man to be alone. And so he created woman. gives us an indication of what his intentions are. He didn't pull a bone from his head that he would lord over her, nor did he pull a bone from his foot that he would trample her, but from his side, that they would walk side by side in their marriage. Hi, Ruben. Take D. Katrina. Take D. Katrina. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Chase was saying, you know, not too many people get to do a second marriage. And I said, not, not this quickly. <laughs> yes. In the state of just one, a person is dealing about everything for themselves. And now you're coming together and it's no longer just yourself, but it's the two of you. So when two people come together in marriage, you know, as God's just saying, I'm completing this thing. Katrina, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinances in the holiest state of matrimony, without obey him and serve him for honor, keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others and keeping myself only unto him so long as you both shall live? I do. I cannot imagine a better suited couple than these two standing behind me right now. Y'all have something really beautiful together. And I hope the memories from today warm your hearts till the end of time. I hope you guys know nothing but happiness from this day forward. Now, for the second time today, I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Chiwak. <laughs>